I'm picking up my dad. Uh, he's probably not the YouTube kind of dude, so I don't know if I'm gonna get any footage with him, but I'm picking us up some sausage egg McMuffins. We're gonna go out to that Springville job uh, that you guys saw in another video, or saw me driving to at least. I'll try to take some footage out there actually this time. Before we do that, I have a sales call here in Tulare. He's gonna tag along with me on. But yeah, he, he retired back in July. It's October now, or November now, gosh. And uh, anyways, I'm trying to uh, just, I like to pick his brain and uh, he, he built pools for so many years. And I, uh, when I was younger, I, I was able to, to kind of experience that with them I did some tile with them in the summers and backfilling trenches and stuff like that and uh, I moved down south and so the meat and potatoes I guess you could say of, of his uh, building career I kind of miss so it's kind of a regret of mine it's a bummer but I'm glad that I'm, I'm able to uh, to be with him now and hopefully he could kind of give me some pointers and help us sell some some more pools but I, more than anything, I'm just excited to hang out with them. Does that ever change, I wonder? Get excited to hang out with your old man? Um, something I need to remember when my daughters want to come hang out with me and draw next to me or something like that to make sure I give that time. Because here I am, 34, still excited to hang out with my dad. <laughs> All right, guys, so this is uh, the property up in Springville. Um, Pretty cool property, big ranch. I don't know how many acres she has, but uh, it seems like a pretty decent sized property. This is a really cool pond when you get up to the front of the house. Uh, they got some paddle boats out there and it seems like a fun fun spot to, uh, to hang out, raise a family out there and just live a good life, kind of cool. Um, so I came out here with my dad this day and uh, uh, the big uh, thing I wanted to check on was a gas manifold, uh, which we take a look at here in a second. And the reason being is being in the country like this, it's uncommon to have natural gas to the house. Normally you have a propane tank, which it kind of blew my mind. They actually have natural gas uh, to this house. So um, that's the big thing I wanted to look at. And uh, wanted to just also take a look at the slope coming off of the house. Um, which you can kind of see in this video from the back door there. There's a bit of a slope coming down. This is the gas manifold outside of the home. Um, this is up in the hills, of course. So you have uh, you have gas coming in off of the street. And uh, I guess they had, they had to upgrade the... Uh, they didn't upgrade the meter size. I don't know exactly how this works in this scenario. But they had to upgrade the pressure. So the amount of pressure to, to feed this property. Um, so we should be good to go. We have a big fire pit on this pool and some fire pots. Uh, this little cat was just following us around uh, the entire property. <laughs> kind of cute. And uh, actually in this part of the video, a big, uh, a big uh, sound happened in the bush there. It scared me and uh, my dad was making fun of me and there's there's bear poop on the property. My dad was saying that the bear probably hangs out down in that in that little uh, alcove there, which he probably does. I don't know. But um, anyways, after the property, we went to uh, lunch here at this uh, golf course in Springville. And this flooded a while back. Last March, I believe, or this March here in 2024. I believe so. It might have been 2023. I'll verify that. But you can check out the footage here of the flood it was pretty incredible i think you had a combination of a lot of rainfall and also um the snowpack started to melt they had a lot of rain that winter and so a combination of the the snow melting and then a lot of rainfall uh resulted in some flooding earlier i had a sales call this day which i mentioned earlier in the video uh my dad actually drew this up it's kind of cool to see how he does stuff these are his notes when he goes on his sales call. I went with him, of course, we did it together. He's checking setbacks uh, from the property line and um, and uh, just calling out all the key dimensions. And uh, 
this is me actually designing that design. So that drawing, I went and I'm transferring it to my program. Uh, we use SketchUp, so this is Google SketchUp. I believe SketchUp's owned by Google. Maybe not anymore, they might have sold it. But um, again, I kind of work in a 2D format at first. So you, you can kind of see here, I'm checking all my setbacks um, with those kind of dashed lines there. Um, checking those setbacks and then I just start designing and you're kind of like sculpting in a way you're working in 3d you're pulling shapes up and back and down and you can see the raised wall at the back of the pool there um, that's raised I believe I, I believe I raised that a foot tall and so when you raise a wall like that a foot oh, with a raised bomb beam with gunite you're really you're really at about 15 inches because then you have a three inch concrete cap which would go in and pour um, so there's a lot of little nuances you have to think about uh, with stuff like this with different heights and it's pretty key so you can see a fire pit there I'm sculpting out a fire pit it's pretty key in that situation uh, because now you're talking about a bench so the bench going around the fire pit you really want to think about height you know how what's going to be a comfortable height for the the people to sit on around the fire pit I ended up raising that wall a little bit more I think another three inches um, so that way I had about 15 inches from the top of the deck, not from the top of the bomb beam. I hope that makes sense. Um, so little nuances you think about when you're designing a, a pool and an outdoor space, uh, you want it to be comfortable and feel natural. Um, this pool is 15 by 30. So you have 15 feet by 30 feet long, um, three sheer descents. So you can see those water features off the back wall there. Uh, those are two foot shear descents. So common sizing on that is a one foot, an 18 inch and two foot shear. You could get three foot shears, I believe also. Um, I kind of like the two foot. I think they look nice. Um, you could use the one foot on a smaller space. So say the back, the width of the pool, you had a raised wall. So the wall was only 15 feet wide. You know, maybe you could use three uh, one footers on something like that. Now this is the program I transferred over to, it's called Lumion, and this is what we render in. And you can see it's already looking a little more realistic, right? So you go in and adjust the materials, the tile, the stone, the water, um, all that good stuff. And it's called ray tracing, and it mimics, it mimics the way light rays actually reflect and work in real life. So it does look pretty realistic. Um, adding some fire into the fire pit there, and uh, this is really just the polishing part of the, the design process. It's pretty fun taking it into this phase because you can see how, how realistic they look. It looks uh, pretty nice. Um, the details, like throwing in some plants for the client to see and kind of envision their space when you're done. We don't do any landscaping, but I do like to show my clients uh, their designs with the landscaping done so they can envision what it's gonna look like at the end. Um, also here, put some people in the scene to kind of, you can get a feel for uh, how it's gonna work with people sitting around that fire pit. Now this is a video that's kind of being preliminary rendered out. You can kind of see it there. I added some water on the deck in that change there, which kind of adds some realism to it. And uh, I think I'm nearing the end of this video. So guys, I really appreciate you watching and uh, please like and subscribe. See you on the next one.